Hello everyone, welcome to back to the, well, <laughs> welcome back to the Boku cast everyone. It is I, your lovely host, Boku Satsu. And uh, well, today we're going to talk about a lot of things. IRL stuff, Toku, anime, in a, in a, uh, and other, in like, in other, in like other stuff I have in the works. So yeah. So let's begin. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm actually excited for this one. Bandai just announced last week that uh, they are <laughs> they announced at battle at at the Dragon Ball Battle Hour. Not not know what that is. It's a uh, Dragon Ball event when they when they tell it's a Dragon Ball Fighters event when they tell a lot of Dragon Ball info news, a lot of news about Dragon Ball stuff, and one of them was about a certain game franchise that was a that had nostalgia to me and many others. So for those that don't know, Bandai announced last week at the Bower, Bower, at the Battle Hour event that <sighs> we're getting a Tenkaichi 4. Nope, no joke. We're, we're getting a Tenkaichi 4. Tenkaichi 4? No, you're lying. Nope, no, nope, not, not, not lying. Not lying at all. This is actually true. And I'm excited as hell for this. Listen, I pray I pray Tenkaichi three and two on my Wii a long time ago, and I remember I I beat I beat that game I beat a Tenkaichi three with a, with my Wii controller, but then my Wii controller stopped working on us. Then then I had then I decided to go change then I decided to go uh, straight to a uh, well a, a GameCube controller and well. <laughs> That's how that's how I beat that's how I managed to beat Tenkaichi 2 with, with a GameCube control. It was crazy back in the day. No joke, it was crazy back in the day how I managed to do that. But yeah. I I missed that. I missed playing those games. I missed my old GameCube controller as well. Oh man. That was, those those were, those were good games. Record, I played on the Wii back in the day. I never had a PS2, so I did not play one cause I thought that Tenkaichi 1 looked weird. To be fair, it was began the franchise, but the graphics, but the graphics look kind of weird in my opinion. Then it got better in Tenkaichi two and three, and yeah. But Tenkaichi four, holy crap! Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> I haven't been this excited for a Dragon Ball game since Fighters. Kakarot was mid in my opinion. I did not finish that game. I. Tr I rage quit at the Boo Saga because the boar boss fight pissed me off. When that happened, after I died so many times, I said, F this game, and I returned back to GameStop and never, never, and never regretted it ever since. Didn't care for the Breakers. Dragon Ball, Z, the, Dragon Ball the Breaker doesn't look that good in my opinion. It looks meh. It looked like a wash up version of Xenoverse. Just making it to a freaking Dead or Alive version of. Xenoverse. That's basically what it is. And well, the breakers look the breakers look like garbage in my opinion. <laughs> Fighters is good. I like Fighters. Fighters is a good game, but at the same time, I can't I can't stand the competitiveness with competitiveness with that game. Which is why well which is why I got back into it because I want I want to learn I want to go back I want to go back and be competitive, but at the same time I just can't with how annoying it is playing online. But boy, it's been a while since I've been excited for a video game. Hell, I'll, hell, I'm more excited for this than for the new Suicide Squad game. Even though I'm not buying that game because apparently that game's gonna be like that. That game's gonna be like Gotham Knights. Oh God, I haven't even finished Gotham Knights. That game was just so. That game was just whatever. But yeah, though. Tenkaichi 4. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> and yes, this is part of the trilogy. Bandai announced it. Well, it was announced on the official Dragon Ball website that this takes place in the trilogy of 1, 2, and 3. Ultimate Tenkaichi, Raising Blast 1 and 2, Tenkaichi Tag Teams are not part are not part of the franchise, it said on the website. So we're all good there. But boy, okay, so here's the five things I want to see in the Tenkaichi, in Tenkaichi 4. Number one, a big roster, because Tenkaichi 2, 
roster was decent. Then three came along and the roster was really big. I want four. I want Tenny G four to have like a roster that could be like, oh shit, it could, that could be DLC, let's be honest. I want the roster to have shit from uh, Dragon Ball, from from all from all the sagas, and from well, Super and GT as well. Hell, maybe some manga characters like Moro, Ultra Ego, Vegeta, Bla Black Frieza. Who else am I forgetting? I'm forgetting someone else. I'm sorry, I don't keep up the manga anymore, so please forgive me. <laughs> Hell, not just that, uh, Super Dra uh, Dragon Ball Heroes would be. I would love some Dragon Ball Heroes. Toa, Mira, an uh, alternate costume for Xeno Goku, or for alternate costume for Goku Vegeta, that's basically their freaking Dragon Ball Heroes costumes. They could make a DLC story with that. I would be down to buy that and play it. Listen, listen, let me say this. Make the combat give me the same vibe as Tenkaichi 3. Because, boy, <laughs> I was a beast at that game. I want the combat to be like a mixture of that, but also at the same time like Burst Limit slash of Xenoverse. You know, Xenoverse Combat, even though Xenoverse combat, it, combat is not the best in my opinion. I want Tenkaichi 3 to remind me of my nostalgia for the combat, just like I had when I played about well, 2 and 3 on the Wii a long time ago when I was younger. Alright, next one, story mode. But make the story mode good. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm going to, listen, my, my control my control is going to break. Why am I saying that? Because, boy... Hit me out. Once I do this, uh, once I do this to my controller, it's going to. <laughs> once I do that to my control, it's going to break. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, the old school Dragon Ball games, Dragon Ball Z game, had had beam struggles. Xenoverse one and two didn't have that. Kakarot did, which which was a positive. <sighs> Not Zero One Two Fighters, and uh, well, I, uh, I don't think the breakers has it. Did not have, did not have being struggled, which I'm mad about. <sighs> I want Raging Breath. Not Raging Breath. I want Ten H Four Story Mode to have a lot of being struggles, which it will. Though, let's be honest. And well, and well, I want those being struggles to remind me of the vibe I got from praying them back in the day. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> Ah, uh, man, I'm, dude, listen, I'm excited for this game, and, well, I have a PS5. I'm buying it, because me and my brother used to play this a long time ago. And, uh, well, <sighs> it's been 15 years, you guy. No joke, no joke, no joke, by the way. It's almost like saying Mojo Jojo, no. But for real, though, no joke, it's... It's been 15 years, guys, since this game came out. And, well, I'm actually pretty crazy. I'm actually pretty excited for uh, this announcement. Like, it's literally, it's March. We're lit we're, we are literally in the third month of 2023 right now. And, uh, well, out of nowhere, Bandai announced that uh, they're bringing everyone's nostalgia back from the Wii slash, PS Wii slash PS2 era. For Dragon Ball Z games, including me, I was one of the Wii friend. I, I was one of the people on the Wii who played this game, and now, bam, poof! I'll put, I'll, I'll present, kazam, kazam, fuck, poof! Out of whatever, look at this shit. Tank AG4 is happening. I am excited as hell, and I'm whooping some ass online. Listen, for those who I know, who for those who I know, who were my main characters when I played? The, BT three. All right, so I was I was acting pretty good with Super Saiyan four Gogeta, Super Saiyan four Goku, and Vegeta. Personally, for me, Vegeta was the bad character between two of them in Super Saiyan four because his fuck his speed, his speed, and strength was pretty was pretty well not balanced in my opinion. <laughs> Goku and because well, 
that kid was broken. You can have it has all his Super Saiyan forms, one, two, and three. And for record, his best costume and his best costume in Go for Goku N is costume two, which is his N and Z costume. It came, in my opinion, the the closest outfit that we'll get to a GT Goku. Adult GT Goku. And then we got Vegeta N, aka Boo Saga Vegeta. For I get Goku N and Vegeta N are basically the Boo Saga, the Boo Saga version of Goku and Vegeta. So yeah, so yeah, and well, <laughs> and uh, let's just say that I was, I was a beast with those characters, <laughs> dude. No joke, I was that good at the game. I had a lot of crazy time doing this. I had a lot of crazy time doing a lot of what if fights. Hell, not just that. Me and my brother used to duke it out a lot in the game to release our anger. And well, I became I became that guy and became a became a professional. I'm not a professional gamer. I would love to be one, but no, I'm not a professional gamer. I was just that good at the game back in the day. Now that uh, and now that uh, it's now that uh, Bandai bring this back to us, it's a blessing in my heart. I'm getting I'm I'm getting emotional about it right now. So I'm talking about it. I'm hoping that uh, I know this is a, a long a, a long shot for happening because this won't happen unfortunately. But if it did, I wouldn't be mad. I would really love if Bandai did like for a pre-order bonus. It's, it's, it's a, it's for uh, if for those that had if uh, for a PlayStation bonus, I would love, I would really love to have if Bandai did it's basically pre-order the game and and you get a copy and and you for the pre-order the game and your pre-order bonus basically all three of the Tenkaichi games. And well. <laughs> And if that is thing, then oh boy, oh my goodness, that would be crazy. Now I know it can't happen, unfortunately, but if it did happen, I would not be mad. I would not be mad. If they did like an HD collection for it, even though, even though I, I doubt that they can, I would not be mad about it. Sure! Sure, I had to go out to GameStop and go buy a, a second or two or three brand new controllers just in case if my uh, first one breaks on me for doing bean struggles. Oh, God, this is just... Oh, God, that's just it. That's just fun. What the fuck that sound? Oh, okay. Please ignore that sign here. But, uh... But, yeah, though, uh... Yeah, I had to go buy three, three of five. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Three or four. I'll just buy I'll just buy two just in case. Because I have like three PS4 controllers. Two broke on me unfortunately. And uh well I have two other ones right next to me, so right next to me and my me and my PS4 that had that, that have been touched since last year. In fact, no joke. Ever since ever since I got the PS5, my PS4 had been my PS4 had not been had not been turned. I had not touched my PS5 ever since I got my PS5. Yep, I upgraded to the next gen. I still have my last gen right next to me. <laughs> like no joke though, if if you if you guys see my freaking desk right now, I have right next to me is my figures, my PS5, my monitor, my my memorial care made changer, my Arson SB license, my glasses, my PS4, and my keyboard. In my Yondo statue, <laughs> and a few of Super Dragon Ball Hero figurines as well. You'll see what I'm talking about once I do like the room tour video. Yes, that is a thing. Apparently, a lot of people want that to be a thing. I don't know. I don't know how and why, but yeah, a lot of people want that to be a thing. Oh, hold on. 
What's up with that, Jaco? Fake my chin. Uh, but yeah, the, apparently a lot of people want that. To, apparently a lot of people want that to be a video. And well, I will happy to applaud. I will I will do a room tour video this year. When will it come out? Don't know. Let's say probably around the summer or at the end of 2023. Those those, those are the best uh, ones I can say. <laughs> I can give out the end of summer or twenty or the end of twenty twenty three. So yeah. Oh boy, this is a uh, this is something that's for sure. So yeah, so yeah, that's gonna be a thing. Oh, speaking of videos, I'm working on my next video as, as we speak. What video was it? You just uploaded one. The Jeet video will come out next week, but I'm going. To, but I'm working on another video, a special project. Well, uh, if you saw my community tab, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. I'm working on a Dragon Ball project, another Dragon Ball What If video. It's a What If. It's a What If video. It's a What If video that is about What If. What If after. What, what what if after the five years of NZ, Goku and Vegeta Goku and Vegeta decide to have the final fight, and well I thought I got my inspiration from a lot of things in fact to make this happen and uh I have the script with me I'm almost done with it I'm still working on it and then I gotta go fix a few things about it but the the script looked pretty decent. <laughs> It's long, that's for sure. It's a huge script. But yeah, I'm working on it. So, that, <laughs> so that's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, boy. Some movie... <laughs> Some movie... <laughs> from that... That video, that video probably won't come out until... I have no idea. Cause I haven't even started... I haven't started getting the footage for the for the video yet, but I have the freaking music choices all picked out. Gotta go, oh, fuck. Gotta go get, gotta go get me some. Gotta go hunt down some Japanese audio. Why? I have the, I have my, I have my Zimmer's game put on Japanese now, instead of English. So, yeah. Why not? Why? Why isn't Japanese? Felt felt like changing it. That's all. Because all my other past what Dragon Ball videos have been in English. And well, I want to play in Japanese. Because why not? <laughs> so, oh, my bad. So, so yeah, that's happening. <laughs> again, don't know when the video, don't, it, again, I haven't, I haven't even started getting the footage yet for the video. But uh, once I do, I'll go, once I do, I'll go tell you guys. So, moving alongside from that, Intel Tank H G four. Let's talk about let's talk about my IRL life. So last week I told you guys that uh, something something was going to happen to me, and well, it did. Your boy has an update. He has an update. Your boy's working on his application as we speak to find a new job. <laughs> And well, I'm pretty excited. What you been working at, Boku? I'm still working on my old job. I, I haven't quit yet, but I'm working on. But yeah, I'm working on my new application as we speak. You know, it looks pretty good. I can't lie about that. <laughs> so yeah, that's the update I want to tell you guys. Don't worry, I'm not in trouble. I'm not in trouble. I'm not in trouble. Not not what I'm talking about. Let's just let's just say that uh, last week at work, I well, I pissed off my I pissed off my boss about well, one of my managers, <laughs> and oh boy, they were not happy. It was her and two other ones, but they were not happy. Cause I was just getting frustrated there. I was, I was just like, yeah, no, fuck this. Yeah, no, f this. I'm out. I'm not happy. And well, there's a well, I. 
Well, I think they forgot about it, but uh, at the same time, so at the same time, it was just oh, God. That that week was just God. That week was just that day was just not nice to me. That's for sure. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Is thank God no longer have. Thank God that day is over with. That week as well. <sighs> Worst payday ever, that for sure. So yeah, moving on for that. There's something else I want to talk about. So okay, <laughs> I don't think I'll think I should be addressing this on my podcast, but this this has to be said. To those that, for those people that are talking behind my back. Who are trying to slander my name and all the hard work and hustle that I did and grind I did? Please do me a favor and stop it talking behind. Stop talking about me. If he has something to say about it, say it to say it to my face. You know who you are, and <laughs> the way how you're doing this, buddy. It's childish. It's childish. Just saying. Boku, who are you talking to? Lately, just let's just say let's just say an old friend of mine has been talking trash behind my back lately, and well, I do not like it. Now I can't talk to him unfortunately because he he blocked me on Twitter. But I block, but I block, but I deact, but I unfollow all his social media accounts on Instagram. And well, he blocked me on Twitter. I blocked him on Instagram. So there's also that too. Just gonna say this, buddy. If you got something to say, say it to my face. Don't say it to other people. Say it to my face. You're just mad. You're just mad. You're just mad about what happened last year, between me, you, and many others. You chose your fake. Your. You chose your fate, and look what happened. And the fact that this fucker had the audacity to say that I'm sucking up to to freaking Toku influencers just because. How am I sucking up to them? How? I, I'm not. I'm, I'm actually not, by the way. I grind. I grind hustle for three fucking years, by the way, for 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 my Tokusatsu content. No joke, three years I grind and hustle for my for my Tokusatsu content. Hell, I got <laughs> Hell, I got freaking notice on Toki Nation a few podcast episodes ago for Black History Month. My channel's doing pretty good every day apparently. Hell, you guys love the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta video, which makes me very happy because I want I wanted to see if like if a non Toku video figure review can do g- pretty good and well it did good that's for sure. <laughs> I ain't sucking up to no one. I grind it. I work hard, and this is and this is the result of it. I swear, people just love to talk. Be- People just love to talk about me behind my back. <laughs> and no, and don't worry, don't worry. I already know. I already know. He's watching this. Hello. Oh, sorry. Hello, buddy. Sasha Bina. I know. I know you. I know you're watching my channel. <laughs> I know you're watching this video, buddy. Because well, you subscribed. You subscribed to me a long time ago in 2020. So yeah, <laughs> this fucker's gonna try to slander me on Twitter. I know he is. <laughs> what I'm saying, he 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 did try to slander me. He tried to accuse me of stealing his ideas, his his idea. But yeah, I did it, and now here we are. Ay ay ay. So for those who don't for okay, for those who don't know who I'm talking about. Last year, a friend of mine, that a friend of many other people on Twitter, I knew this guy since 2020, 
keep in mind on Instagram. He he going by the name Sun. He had a Sonic profile. Now let's just say I'm, I'm not gonna recap everything because the drama between this how, how did it all begin was was out of context but at the same time both sides oh well I didn't know Sunday apologize. Zero Agito did. So Zero Agito Zero Agito's affidavit for the N word on Twitter on stream and people call him out for being racist and uh my friend machine my friend machine and many others try to say that Z Agito did not Z Agito did not meant that it was an accident and all that. Yeah I agree with them. Yeah I agree with them. Son over here tried to speak for black people and well he did not like well me and many other me and my other friends called him out on it. He did not like that. Why am I talking about this now? This drama's old. Yes, yes it is. But I just need I just need to get I just need to get context about why I'm talking about this now. So when this whole thing was happening, I I ran the DM say, Noah, let me let, let no let me just talk to the son, cause I know this guy. Again, we've been friends since twenty twenty. And <sighs> I try to talk to them nicely, being good cops, and hey dude, what are you doing? Please stop. Stop making a fool of yourself. Stop it. Just stop. That, that, that's basically what I said. And he did not like that. And now, well, <laughs> well, he tried to treat me like, he tried to treat me like I was the villain in the DM. It's like, no dude, I'm not. No dude, listen, stop. You're making a fool of yourself. And he did not, li he did not like that. He was harassing, he was harassing me, he, he was harassing all my friends. He was harassing many other people, and apparently, apparently, he was being homophobic as well, from what I heard. That's what I saw on Twitter one time, he was being homophobic. Like, dude, dude, just stop. Just, just stop, just stop, just stop. Just stop. And after he blocked me, after trying to be nice to him, I made <laughs> I made a voice memo last year, giving my side of the story about how 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 me and him became friends, how I knew this guy, and how yeah one day on Twitter, he was kind of being like an ass to me. He called me Homo Satsu because one day I was talking for I was, I was talking to Fidel on Twitter, aka Gamescape, Game Stage Cage. You know, Fidel, the guy, the Sonic fan, the Sonic fan himself. I was planning to treat him, talking to him about something, forgot what. And, uh, son quote treated me, saying, Homosatsu, why you like them? I'm like, I'm not being, I'm not being, I'm not being homophobic. And, and, one, and one of the weird things about this, he doesn't even follow me, so I don't know how, I don't know how son even. I don't, I don't even know how Sun even knew, knew who my account was. To be fair, it's Twitter, and a lot of people who want to follow me find my account instantly, like like a freaking uh, snap. Don't know how, but it happens. So anyway, back on the thing. I gave my two cents about it, and well, <sighs> he he heard that he did not like it. I I try, I try, I try, I try to call, I try to tell him one more time, but no, guess what? The fucker sent me a DM message while had me block. And I couldn't respond back to him, so I'm gonna say it here. If, if again, if you have, a, if you have, again. If you have a problem with me, talk to talk to in my face, not behind my back. Because well, I can't talk to you since I block you on my on my social media. But don't worry, I saw the messages that I saw the messages that you slandered me. <laughs> and boy, <laughs> you must have you must have an issue with me for no reason because I did nothing wrong to you. I've been the nicest friend for you for three fucking years. I've been the nicest friend to you for three fucking years. There are times that I called you out for your stupidity 
And you didn't like that. Like, for fuck's sake, this fucker, this fucker mad that this fucker's trying to sue Tokyo Collectibles. For what? For shipping being expensive? Uh, sir, Tokyo Collectibles shipping expensive outside for those that don't live in the U.S. How did I know this? They even said this self. It's even on their website. It's even on their freaking website. <laughs> and yes, I may be a U.S. citizen. But guess what? It's on the fucking website. <laughs> fucking Marcus himself said it. Who's Marcus? He's he's the he's the owner of Tokyo Collectibles. <sighs> it's not like it's not like for fuck's sake dude why why you like this last year he ran after me machine tenkai games <laughs> uh <laughs> tokyo go tokyo k lupin j sorry no, no sorry I should say that. I'm not sure saying like that, but uh, Lupin J, Vaughn, and many other my friends too. And yet he, yet he accused, yet he accused my friend for being inappropriate, being a creep, and being racist. But yet none of them were. And he accused me a couple of days ago for stealing an idea for a henching video I did. Apparently, I I stole his henshin idea for build for a build uh, for a build henshin, when yet on all my social media I never did a build henshin. Why? I don't own a build driver, you dumbass. Excuse me, Lane Rich, but I don't own a fucking build driver. For those that know me, I only have the freaking Decker driver, the Super version, the Neo DX version, and the CSM. So how the hell can I, how the hell can I fucking copy a Bill Hench, how the hell can I copy a Bill Hench video when I don't have a Bill driver? The closest thing I did to a Bill, a Bill Hench was me trying to copy the damn pose of Bill on my Instagram page. I even made a post about it, and yet it was a failed comparison, and that's it. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> you can't accuse me without no proof. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. Dude. What's your problem with me? Like, are you mad that you fucked up your friendship with me last year and many others? Because you're acting like a complete soaring ass. Because you were. Now, if the outcomes were different, and that shit never happened. We we could have still been friends right now, buddy. But nah. Nah. Just nah. Just nah, dude. Nah, nah, nah. You fucked up that friendship. <sighs> I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry guys. I didn't mean to go on that rant right there, but I just I just I just I just had to respond to this guy because damn it. He was a good friend back in 2020. Me and him, you talk about build back in the day. Shit, not anymore. He could, well, he blocked, well, he blocked me on social media. I blocked him too. And apparently, he'll be, he'll be an ass, asshole in the Discord as well. Not surprised. And yet, and yet, and yet, he, yet he wonders why everyone on Tokyo Twitter doesn't like him. Because the guy, the guy, cause the guy act like a fucking ass. That's why. Oh my goodness. The guy act like a fucking ass. That's why. <sighs> anyway. Anyway, moving alongside from that. I'm sorry, guy. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I just, I just had to respond to this guy because, my fucking god, you do not slander, Aaron. You do not slander Bokusatsu behind your back. 
if you got something to say to me, say it to my face, bucko. We can talk. Well, shit. <laughs> we can talk in the comments. Yeah, the fucking com YouTube comments. My comments are open. Just don't make a long ass fucking argument for some shit. Cause I can't stand. I can't stand when people make a long fucking argument treat argument com a long fucking comment about some shit that's just pointless to say. <sighs> Moving alongside from that shit. So, what's going on for Power Rangers? Well, okay. Let's see. What can I say about Power Rangers now? Mm. So far, so far, Lightning Collection still 50-50 with the community. Apparently, some copy, some people copy of Blue Centurion is good. Others, not so much. Others got, other got tree like, others got broken. Apparently the uh, remastered figures are available. I think because D Amazing got them. To be fair, I don't know how the hell D Amazing keep getting his figures before everyone else. He must got he must got his reasons. Sorry about that. I'm fixing my chair. You can't do amazing. I want to say this. <laughs> not gonna hit. Not gonna stun the guy. No, but I want to say it about me. <laughs> guys, stop, please, guys, please don't compare me to the amazing. <laughs> not for what, not what I'm talking about. There, there are people, there are people out there who say that Boku, Boku, you, Boku, you're like the. Oh, you like the knock off the amazing. Shout out to K the kid. Shout out to K Ninja for all that. K, I know you're watching this, buddy. He called me. A, he called me an. I think he called me. A, did he called me an off brand the amazing. Now, now I ain't no the amazing. Unfortunately, I'm not, and that's good. I'm not because well, I'm my own person. I don't see. <laughs> I say this many times. I'll say it here, you know, this is the perfect time for me to say it. I don't see myself as a Toku tuber. <laughs> Dude, no joke. People see me as a Toku tuber. I don't. I don't see myself I don't see myself as a Toku tuber. I'm just I'm just a guy I love talking about toys from Japan. I'm a guy that I'm a guy that I'm a guy that, that loves talking about anime from Japan. I'm a guy that loves talking about freaking toys from any place. Hell, I Hell, I just, I just, I just want to talk about anime and tokusatsu in general. <laughs> but apparently, I'm a tokutuber. I don't know how. Fuck sake, I'm not like, okay. Okay, no. For example, for example. I'm not like my good friend, Mr. Cooper92. I'm, I'm not like Vaughn. <laughs> Shout out to Vaughn. Vaughn's funny. But I'm not like Vaughn. <laughs> Oh god, I'm not like freaking uh Psycho Twenty Seven on Twitter. I'm not like I'm not like I'm not like many other people's. I'm not I'm not I'm not, I don't. Well, I'm trying to say I don't feel like I'm a Toku tuber, okay? I don't. I just feel like I'm just some guy who just who just like just like just like talking about toys that are good or bad. And yeah, that's basically it. I don't see myself as a. Uh, I don't see myself as a Toku tuber and many others. Heck nah. <laughs> I just like talking about the good or bad things about toys in general. <laughs> god. Oh god. And apparently you got apparently many other people see me as a Toku tuber. My good friend, a nerd named Mark, made a video talking about this. How yet he doesn't see himself as a Toku tuber, and apparently he is one now. And I agree with him. I'm not. I'm not a Toku tuber. I don't see myself as a Toku tuber, but apparently many other people do. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> like, am I really that famous in the community? What the fuck? I just. 
I just make horrible takes about shows I don't like on Twitter. Like, fuck sake, I shit talk Loop Pat 24 7, Go Kaiser, Revice, many other shows I don't like. But apparently, no, I'm a fucking token tuber. <laughs> Crazy though, yeah. I have I haven't even trash talk about Lupin versus Power Ranger in a while, and well, let's keep it that way. For for real, dude. I for real, dude. I don't even see myself as a token tuber, but apparently I <laughs> don't know how, but I am. I've been on so many fucking podcasts. I've been a nerd named, a nerd named Mark's podcast, the Runaway Toku podcast. Oh, for record, hey hey uh hey uh Runaway Toku. If you guys, if you guys want me to be down for another episode, if you guys, if you guys want me to be a guest in a podcast for another episode, I'm down. I'm fucking down. Let's do this shit. Just DM me. My trades, my trade DMs are open. Let's fucking do this shit. Because hell yeah, it's a crossover. The one way Toku Satsu podcast. The one way Toku Toku uh podcast X the Boku special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But back I saying is uh, back I, as I was saying is is uh, yeah. I don't see myself. I don't see myself as a Toki tuber. I just don't. I just I just fucking don't. I just don't. Apparently, people say that I'm, I'm their favorite YouTuber. It's real. I'm like, wait, how? Wait, how? How am I your favorite YouTuber? I don't do. I'm not even that good at YouTube. <laughs> Fuck sake, I joined YouTube in 2017. No joke, actually true. What the fuck? Ay, ay, ay. And here I am now. I started YouTube when I was 16 years old in 2017. Here I am now, 22 years old. And, uh... My content now is mainly tokusatsu. Because, well, that's my brand. Sometimes anime as well, to change it up. And now... And now... I'm in a phase, stage in my life where I'm like, damn, I'm really, I'm really doing good at, for what I'm doing on, on, on my social media. Every day I get like more fucking. I'm not trying to flex, by the way. But every day I get like a lot of new followers on Twitter or Instagram. And a lot of new subscribers on YouTube. I'm like, damn. Y'all, damn, y'all really like my video. Because one of these days, I would love to make a discussion video talking about shows that I love with many other people. And. It, and if that's possible, cause I, if that's possible, then I would love to do that. Like, no joke. No joke. No joke, athlete. I would love to do that. If that's possible, I would love to do that one of these days. Because I, st I, I have a lot I have a lot of thoughts about Dawn Bros that I need to talk to someone about. It's like, if it's like any other podcast, talk to podcast out there, that one having as a guest. My DMs are open. Let's talk. I'm down to join. Because I have a lot I have a lot of thoughts about Dawn Brothers. And uh my I sorry. My ideas my uh thoughts are still not finished with that show. <laughs> But yeah, though, I don't see, but yeah, though, what I'm going to say about me not being a token tuber, a lot of people, a lot of people see me as one. I don't see myself as that. I don't know why. I just don't. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a guy, I'm just a guy, I'm just a guy that, that loves talking about toys. Yeah, at the same time, my videos mainly destroy people's wallets in the past. <laughs> Fuck say, I got, I... <laughs> I made to convince I made to conf I made to convince my friend another name Mark to go buy an SA figure Evil and Demons. Even though he's not the biggest fan of figures, hell, he bought a Kruger Titan because of my Kruger video. I don't know how, but uh, apparently many other people as well. I'm the main reason why their their wallets died from Common Rider. I'm sorry. 
I'm not the amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I did that to your wallet. <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry I did that to your guys' wallets. I'm truly sorry, but at the same time, you all must watch Karate Bug Man to know why Kamen Rider is well pretty cool. Because, dude, I'll be honest with you. If I if I didn't knew if I did not know if I ne if I never got introduced to Kamen Rider, then my wallet would have mostly been focusing on Ultraman or Sentai, hell, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball as well. But now that uh, but now that uh, my wallet basically belongs to all. I want to say all the franchise. I want Ultraman merch. I want more Ultraman merch in my collection. At the same time, I, I don't see myself... I, I kind of see myself wanting Ultraman merch. At the same time, not in a hurry. Because, well, I, I want to go... I want, I want one of these days to go hunt down the Memorial Z-Riser from Zet. Why? I fucking love Zet. He's my favorite Ultraman. Moving on. No, I'm not... I want the freaking... Uh, don't get me don't, don't get me fucking started on the Memorial D Flasher. Well that's cool and I want it, mostly for Dennis. But at the same time, nah. <laughs> nah. 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 If it if I'm if I'm buying if I'm buying like an Ultraman henshin device, I'm going fucking Zet. Why? The more because Zet is my Z is my favorite Ultraman. He's that he'll he'll death is like my yeah. I wouldn't say he. Was, I wouldn't say he's my first Ultraman. No, the first Ultraman show I watched back in twenty twenty, back in twenty twenty one was G. Then Rube. And uh, Rube was boring. G was, I think, I think I say this best, but I, didn't, I think G overrated in my opinion. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying that. Here's why I know G's a fan favorite because. Because Sakamoto directed it. Don't go on. I, I love Sakamoto. He 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 my he's my favorite Tokusatsu director. Even though I have my issues with the guy directing, but I still like him. I can't talk much about Ultraman because I haven't seen a lot of Ultraman. The, the only like Ultraman shows that I watched were G, Orb, Rube. Z, Trigger, and Decker. Now, for how I'm going to rank those shells, okay, like this. Zet, Orb, uh, Decker, G, Rube, and tr Trigger. And, yeah. I thought, yeah, Trigger was, uh, hot garbage. <laughs> if you follow, if you know me, if you know, if you follow my account, my account, you know, you know I'm not the biggest fan of Ultimate Trigger. And let me say this about Ultimate Trigger. I tried to watch Tiga before Trigger came out. I stopped at episode four because because I because I never went back to I never went back to a Tiga at episode four. Like, no joke. I watched like four episodes of Tiga in twenty twenty. Never went back to it ever since. <laughs> For real, never went back to Tiga ever since that happened. And I said, I said, fuck yeah. So I watched Trigger. I'm like, okay, you know, this show is pretty good. Okay, why the hell is this? Why the hell is this story confusing? And why the hell is Kingo's? Why why the hell is the main villain horny for Kingo? Like, don't get me fucking started. How how fucking Decker? How that show fucking retcon triggers so many times. Like, dude, no joke. That show. Deck, I listen. I love Ultimate Decker, one of my favorites. But my God, that show really tried to retcon, really retcon Trigger, so many fucking times. Like, okay, Kango's in the final episode. Okay, Kango's like in three, four fucking episodes. Oh, my girl Luna's. Oh, fucking Luna's get. Oh, say my girl no. Oh, fucking Luna's there. Okay. Oh, okay. The fucking final villain from from Trigger's in here. Oh, oh. Okay, so he never died apparently. And see, he's back stronger. Like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck is this show? <laughs> like, no joke. Dude, like, like, no fucking joke, though. <sighs> I love Decker. Don't get me wrong, but my God, did he really need to try to retcon Trigger like that, <laughs> dude? What the fuck? 
I know the trigger has so many. I, I, know, I know that when Trigger is airing, they had like so many rewrites, rewrites for that show, like a lot, in fact, like a lot of rewrites for that show. And okay, sorry. And it feels like they tried to apologize for the fans that watched Trigger by by trying to and by retconning all the stuff that Trigger did, but by putting that in Decker. And well, yeah, that makes you with Decker. They tried. They tried too hard. They tried too hard redeeming Trigger, and then it looked good. Like don't get me wrong, the show, the show's not the show, the show's not the show's not the good, the show's not the best. The show's not the best because Trigger was a average re show, we can say. And <laughs> God, and in fact, it, and it's the fact that I don't, I don't even own the SA Figure Arts Ultimate Trigger. I want that figure because that's because his base suit looks so cool. Even though I know, even though I know it's just a freaking carbon copy of Tiga. Just updated. Same for Deckers. You know, I want Deckers fi Ultra Figure as well. And no, I'm not buying. No, fuck you. I'm not buying the SA Figure Tear Freezer. Or the freaking, uh, or Deckers of uh, Blue Form. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Listen, I love Decker and all. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not buying that. Your boy want a memorial. Your boy want. I want to go find one day, possibly this year, a memorial Ultra Z riser from Ultimate Z. Why? I fucking love Z. Again, he's my favorite Ultraman. Holly Key is my favorite. Ult my favorite Ultra host, and I fucking love that guy's energy. <laughs> and also, ult also a what? Also, uh, Ultraman Z was the first Ultraman show I watched. No joke. What was this? Oh, yeah. I think it was 2021. Yeah. Back in 2021, when it was Ultraman Day, I sat down on the Super Wide YouTube channel. I watched all Ultraman Z in one, in one, on uh, one whole day, binge watch all episodes, and I fucking loved it. And because, to this day, Ultimate Z is my favorite Ultraman. Also, I have also I have his figure art right next to me, and I love it. <laughs> so for those who want to know, Boku, what are your big three for Tokusatsu? Okay. Okay. So we got Kamara to build. We got we got Toku Sentai Deca Ranger. And we got Ultraman Z. All three of my favorite Toku shows. For Power Rangers. I would say SPD, cause SPD, SPD is my favorite. But before SPD, before SPD took over at number one, I'm gonna go back by saying this. I'm gonna go back by saying Ninja Storm. Why? Power Ninja Storm, Power Ranger Ninja Storm, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated Power Ranger seasons. Because when people think about Power Ranger, they talk about Dino Thunder, SPD, Mystic Force, many other seasons of Disney era. But I don't see people talk about Ninja Storm. I love Ninja Storm. It's one of my, it's actually my favorite. <laughs> I can't say one of my favorite. No. It's one of my favorite, but it's actually, it's actually my favorite between that and SPD. SPD is number two, so yeah. I see people shoot on Ninja Storm because not Hurricane or don't like Ninja Storm because, well, it's too comedic. I want to say this for that. We had Dino Fury. I want, I want, I want to put it out by saying this. Why I'm saying, this, why I'm saying that. Dino Fury tried to be comedic a lot, and it just doesn't work. I mean, compare, like, I me mean, compare the 2000 humor to the humor that they tried to put in Dino Fury. It just doesn't work. It's like Dino Fury. It's like Dino Fury. It's not, it's not even all that funny. <laughs> and yeah, I still don't, I still don't understand the big hype of Dino Fury. It was just, it was just average at best. Wasn't good. The writing was abysmal, awful. 
And my God, Simon, you did not like the criticism that you took. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, this guy is apparently on YouTube as well. <laughs> what I mean by that is, uh, apparently the pokey, the pokey police is, uh, the pokey police is on Twitter trying to hunt down people that's laying down. Simon's in my Simon's in my comments like that. <laughs> I'm kidding, relax. I know Simon Ben ain't watching my channel. There's no way in hell. But back on say but back on saying compared to he compared to two thousand human in the storm, some of the human from this storm add up. Some of the human in this storm held Okay. Not all. But the but the human dino theory isn't all that good either. Because it's just it doesn't feel like Power Rangers. No no I, I can say this now. Dino Fury doesn't feel like Power Rangers. It just feel like it just feel like someone it just feel like someone wanted me to show about about about, uh, about the it just feel like someone wanted me to show with the real soldier suits and footage. And just slap it on, say Power Rangers. Does it feel like Power Rangers? The only like moment the show felt like Power Rangers when Zato basically tell Void Knight in the second season to f off. Like no joke, he basically tell Void Knight to f off. <laughs> you think I'm lying? No, he he actually told Void Knight the show to f off. He didn't say, he didn't say F off, no. But the other two in face expression, Russell Curry, Russell Curry gave to performance in that one scene. He basically tells Boy Knight to F himself and F off. I'm like, damn, Zato, where the hell was this? Where the, where the hell was this part of your character? I want more of this. Because shit, I never got that. The closest time. I got that was in the final episode in the final battle they had with Void Cream. And don't get me started, I do not I do not like that finale. Not one b fucking bit. And I want and I'm gonna say this. Apparently people are saying that Amelia is is top three best pink since Jen. I'm like, what the fuck? Since when? When? What wait, hold on. Since when? <laughs> What the fuck? Why are y'all smoking? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, don't get me wrong. I love, I love Hunter Danilio. He's a cool person, though. Know? But what the fuck, y'all? Why are y'all smoking? <laughs> Why are y'all smoking? God didn't see that in fucking Amelia. Dude, no joke. Amelia's character just basically this in the first season. Her being a reporter. And that's it. Second season, her Dane Rob, her her and Ravi, no, her and Ali are a couple. When yet they didn't have the best relationship in the first season. It's just I want to get a shout out to my good friend Calvin. I I I don't I don't know if he's watching this, but hello Calvin. He's not the big Calvin's not the biggest fan of Ali and Amelia on, on Twitter. <laughs> Hashtag watch it. Oh god, I can't I can't wait to upload this. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna tag him. I'm just gonna tag him saying hashtag watch it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, back on saying about Donald Fury, dude, no, dude, like no joke, no, like no joke. Amelia's character in the first season is based on her being a reporter. Okay, and what's her character? Like no, not doesn't have one. Dude, I'll be real with you. I'll be real with you. Now I'm gonna get hate for saying this, but if it's green down, which one's better? Don Fury or Real Soldier? Now, I'm not the biggest fa now, I don't hate Real Soldier. I still like it, but not that much. First time watching Real Soldier, I fucking cried. It got me emotionally. We watched the second time, I fucking loved it. Third time got me third time got on my nerves. But I don't hate it as I used to. I see the flaws with that show now. Between that or Real Soldier, which one do I prefer? Real Soldier, hear me out. 
Downfield, Downfield just pissed me off. Like, no joke. As much as, as all the criticism that I gave Real Soldier on my podcast review for that show, between that or Down Fury, I rather take Real Soldier. Because if you here's the thing, just turn your brain off for watching Real Soldier. Just have a fun time. That's basically it. That's basically it. Just turn your brain off for watching Real Soldier. Just have a fun time watching it. Down Fury, on the other hand. Uh, Down Fury. Uh, Down Fury. Lazy, lazy writing. Ruined characters in second season. It fucking... Oh, God. The most overrated plot in the whole entire show. A.K.A. The Green Morphe Master. A.K.A. The, vo- the actor, voice actress who played, well, Jack's girlfriend on SPD. No joke. It's a voice actress. So back on the thing, the Green Morphe Master. Here's my here's my hot take about the Green Morphe Master. I said this last year when Downfield was airing. When I got around watching that scene, I did like a little take on Twitter saying that, my God, that is the worst plot line I ever heard because it just basically retcons all the moments from Power Rangers. So you're telling me that's the main reason why Jason held the Beast Morphe Ranger. See the so you're telling me you're, so you're telling me the main reason why so you're telling me the main reason why Tommy and other legendary rangers helped Troy and others because of her. Yeah, shut up, no, fuck that. Yeah, no, fuck that. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. And see the reason why Sam was a ball of light in SPD. Well see the reason well see the reason why t- freaking fucking Tori went to the damn other dimension Ninja Storm. Well, see the fucking reason why Cam became the Green Samurai Ranger in this storm. No, well, see the reason why Trent became the White Dino Ranger in Dino Thunder. What the fuck? <laughs> Give me a lane ranger now, but damn, Simon, buddy, listen. I, I know, I know you, I know, okay, I get it, okay? I don't hate you. I have my criticism, I have a lot of criticism, I have a lot of criticism towards your. Towards your towards Dino Fury. And no, I did not hate none of the cast. I like the cast, they're cool though. But my god, that show. Dude, so hold on. Is C the main hold on? Is C the main reason why Keeper can't is C the main reason why Keeper decided to alternate the past by by uh <laughs> by uh in the final battle on Dino for Charge? Was she the main reason why? Because dude what was the point of her in the show retconning stuff? In every other Power Rangers season, the the Rangers, the Ranger never got spoiled. But why the hell in Dino Fairy the Ranger got spoiled a lot? It got treated, it got, it got, got treated like, got treated like spoiled black, spoiled brats. There's the somewhat hardcore fight with Lord Zed, Lord Bitch. I'm calling Lord Bitch come my fucking god. That's not Lord Zed. The Lord Zed, I know the same Lord Zed that, that beat the shit of the Rangers in the comics. And the same fucking Lord Zed that went into the Rangers Command Center in Season 3 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This fucking literally says Season 3. Oh yeah, guess what? Control the Zorg Control the Zogon the Shogun Megazords. Or I kill Kimberly, cause I have her. In my domain, and I'm about to drain the crap out of her powers and her life force. So y'all motherfucker can listen to me now. Mwahaha! I fucking love that. I fucking love that from Lord Zed and my Morphin. And Tur- Zio, he was Zio. They made him a comedian, but at the same time, he was still cool in Zio. Turbo, well, the Turbo movie made him dumb. But my God, my fucking God. Dino Fury made Lord Zed the most sensitive bitch ever. Cause Lord Zed, if if that was Tommy or anyone else, Lord Zed would not take that. He will say F. He will basically beat the crap out of you. Dino Fury. Ollie called him a meat man, and he got sensitive and brainwashed Ollie to fight the Rangers. And the power of love conve- compel him, and now he's in love with Amelia. Shut the fuck up. That's bad writing. I'm sorry. I don't remember. I don't remember Lord Zed being sensitive. 
when <laughs> in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Why was he so sensitive in Dino Fury? That's not Lord Zed. No, that's just some bulky guy impersonating him. <laughs> and yes, I know what happened to Lord Zed's voice actor. I'm talk I'm just talking about about the character. But that was not Lord Zed and Dino Fury. That was just some guy. That, that, was, that, was, that was just some guy pretending to be Lord Zed. My Lord Zed fucking disappeared after Zeo. I did not. I didn't know. He became a human in, in space after the countdown destruction. He became a human again. He became a human and fucking danced off of Rita somewhere after after Dan man and after Dan man other. And he tried to kill Trey and the three Gold Rangers. So what the f dude? What the f <sighs> Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. So you're telling me that Lord Zed became so sensitive and bought her by by a not so good character, call him a meat man. I get it. It's a kid's show. It's for kids. That's totally fair and understandable. But the dialogue felt so cheesy. I get it. I know it's Power Range. It's supposed to be cheesy. But no. This... There's a different type of cheesy for dialogue for Power Rangers. It could be super crappy cheesy and funny, like, like in the like in the early Saban, early two thousand Power Ranger, all the way to well, Dino Charge. And then, then, then you got then you got the crappy, then you got the crappy one liners from Mega Force and Super Mega Force. And Ninja Steel, both seasons, and Beast Morphers, and Dino Fury. And those puns and dialogue and one liners are crappy. And this is coming from me. I don't even care for Super Mega Force. I like Mega Mega Force, but Super Mega Force, I don't even care for that show. But my fucking God, dude. My fucking God. Jesus Christ, what the hell? I can't. I can't do. I just, I just can't with that show. And don't get me started on Cosmic Fear because the community is still whining about the cutie suit not being in the show. All right, all right. Hot take. I think it talk. I think it's time for me to say this. I don't care for the cute ranger suits, and here's why. They are overhyped as shit. People praise them way too much. Yes, I know. Bandai America helped Toei make the suits. I totally understand and get that. Good for Bandai America back in the day. Guess what? It's 2023. I did not give a crap about those suits. Shut up. Get over it. So what? Your favorite suits are going to be in Power Ranger Cosmic Fury. You think Hasbro care? Fuck no. They just want money. And by doing that, they'll... They'll be taking the fucking Japanese for the from the Zords. Just for that shit for ten episodes. And also, just to be fair, how the hell how the hell how the hell can Hasbro do care development art for ten episodes with, with, with all those suits with all those queuing suits and Cosmic Fury? Because that's impossible. That's in, that's fucking impossible. It took fucking Dino Charge like two stamp seasons. To do care development for every character in the show. And yeah, I know. The second season was a super season. But still, my point still stands. There's no way in hell Hasbro can do that. For 10 fucking... No, I don't know how many suits are there for Q-Ranger. All the Q-Ranger suits for 10 episodes of Cosmic Fury. There's no way in hell Hasbro can do that. It's like... If you want to see those suits so badly, guys, I get it, okay? Trust me. Hear me out. I will. I wanted to see the, the Lupin Ranger suit in Power Ranger, but guess what? We ain't getting it. Guess what? That show ain't, that show ain't getting adapted. Why not? 
we both know why. If you know why, you know why. What happened? Well, in 2020. That, and that's the reason why. <laughs> we, we ain't getting Lou Pat. We ain't, we, we ain't definitely getting, we ain't, we ain't definitely getting you older. Q Ranger is a f <laughs> that's what, that's Power the Power Ranger brand is basically just said fuck you the Q Ranger. And do it the fact that it's the fact that the fucking comics are referencing the Q referencing Q Rangers so many damn times. Like compare it in one panel they they have fucking hammy suit in there. In the fucking Pink Ranger from Q Ranger. I don't even know what her name was. What the Ay ay ay. Dude, I'm just gonna say it like this. I know you. I, I know you guys aren't the biggest fan of Cosmic Fairy suits, and that's fine. You don't have to. Here's what I gotta say about those suits. They look good, but not perfect. Not ten out of ten. They're okay and good. I like them, but but they could be fixed. I can say and that's all. That's all. That's all. Like if you if you want this if you want to see those Q Ranger suits again, just go watch the show, guys. Just watch the show. I hate saying that. Just like just just go watch Q Ranger. If if you want to see your favorite suits again, from Q Ranger, just go watch just just go just go, just go watch Q Ranger. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, okay. <laughs> like I love the G Ultra suits. And I doubted that we're gonna see the suits in Power Rangers. I def I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess we won't, unfortunately. But if we do, then well, that's cool. But right now, if I want, if I want to go see those, if I want to go see those suits again, I'll just go. Watch, I'll just go rewatch Georgia. And I love Georgia. One of my, if one of my favorite, if one of my favorite Sentai seasons. But still, but still, guys, but still, still. If I want to go see, if I want to go see the Jules suits again, I'll just go with the Jules. If we did not slam, we did not slam it at the Jules suits. I will come after you for that. I love those suits. Personally, I, personally, I prefer them more than the Galvanizer suits, and I, and I love the Galvanizer suits. Cause wild, wild, wild force. That's why. Yeah. That's just that's just my opinion right there. That's just my opinion right there. <sighs> I'm sorry I'm not trying to get like angry about it. Just like dude, I just want pe I just want people to stop complaining about it. Because this happened many times in the community when when fan when fan put the expectations up way too much to get disappointed. And this happened last year at Cosmic Fury. Well, this year in favorite Cosmic Fury, eh, eh, no, 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 last year, yeah, this, this happened last year at Cosmic Fury, when it was announced, it was announced about, it was announced that uh, Cosmic Fury was a thing. People put the expectations up way too much, expecting Q Ranger happen, and look what happened. Hasbro announced, Hasbro announced. Has one out that the Q the Q Rangers the Q Rangers sword the Q Rangers swords I say sword the Q Rangers swords are gonna be in the show just not the suit and now fans are mad and upset about it I'm like guys this guys guys how can they use all those suits in ten episodes There's no way in hell Simon and his team can do kid development for all those suits for for 10 episodes. There's no way. There's no way. And yes, I know about the leak about people saying that Fern, Lizzie's, no, Izzy's girlfriend could be an Orange Ranger. Personally, I don't care. I don't believe it. Until, well, uh, yeah, no, that's it. Personally, for me, I don't care. And I, 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 I don't believe a single thing of it. Why? It's a fucking leak. That's why. It was confirmed by Illuminous. Of course, Illuminous did it. We all like Illuminous around here, even though, even though I don't trust them for what the fuck they say. Just saying, 
by limiting to the trustworthy site. The fuck? Are they? Cause they don't see trustworthy to me. Don't believe a single thing those guys said. Why? They just talk the fucking article just talk about them leaks that her in the community. That's it. That's basically it. Like, do you remember when uh they made an article about about the thirty for the thirty anniversary about about Billy returning as like some type of mentor or whatever? I think he said that. And the community basically called them out for the for the on for the for the mis for the uh for the misinformation. And well someone someone from the team didn't someone on the team was being a complete ass about it. Now if you now, if you like Illuminati, that's fine. That's totally fine. I don't believe. I don't. I don't trust them or believe them. But that's just me. <sighs> oh, okay. <laughs> Boy, let's talk. <laughs> okay. I think it's time to talk about about a certain apple. Oh boy. So for those that don't know. I have a segment I want here where I review and recap uh, the latest episode of Akarinko. Oh, God, this fucking show. This, this, this is like episode six, for record. This, this is like, what, eight episodes? Yeah, this is like episode six. Oh, God, this fucking show sucks. Okay, okay, let's do this. So we begin this episode basically. Uh, it's, we, we we begin this episode basically uh, being like a uh, timestamp. Well, a little time. Sp a like basically being like a, a time gap. It's been like two months since Yuta disappeared. It been well left home. You know, he have been disappeared. He been a raider. He's a raider working at uh at the sex bar. Oh, how he became a raider? Oh boy, this 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 is where this is where the spinoff takes place. So this is a spinoff. I watch it, and well, it's just basically the the spinoff is basically strip go fish. What strip go fish, Boku? Well, <laughs> I'll look. I'll look. I'm not gonna say, it, but I'll let you go look it up. So yeah, that's ba that, that's ba that's basically the spinoff. It has Inuta, Rume, oh Sana's character. It had the fucking teacher herself. Oh god, that teacher. <laughs> oh god, that fucking teacher. <laughs> I hate that character so much. <laughs> okay, okay. I know my I, I I know my I know my I know my friend Harmony's watching it. I know I know she's laughing about this. Harmony, if you're watching this, girl, I hate you. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding, Harmony. I can't hate. Her. I know I know I know she likes to see me suffer from from watching this crappy show. Oh god. Oh god. So after the spinoff, basically, so the special is based on strip go fish. That that's basically it. That's basically it. If you if if all your clothes are off, including your underwear panties, you get tased and you're out. Two people won. Saint and Judo's character, Yume, uh, Yusume and uh, Inata. And well, the next scene is basically Inata transforming into a bartender. Because well, he became one, and he became one after that. And the fucking teacher, apparently, oh uh, well, she said something to him, which I'm gonna guess that uh, she she liked it. And well, she now she's now what a fucking employee at that place. Oh god. And then show the preview of the teacher, Santa's character, in Inita. I can't. I, I got. I got to say, saying a character, uh, Yuname. Yeah, yeah, Yuname. I think his name was. 
Oh God. This and then Hurricane this takes place after the last episode. Episode six. And now we're on to f God. <laughs> this this episode seven that we're talking about. So there was, so there so there was a two month gap of ever since Ito disappeared from school, same for Yuna May. I didn't know. Yuna May uh Yuna May have been uh going to school. Either time. May's character asked her, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell happened to Inata? He said, oh, uh, well, he stayed at my place. He wasn't feeling like himself, and well, yeah. She followed, she followed, she followed Yuna May to the sex bar. And she may have fu <laughs> this fucker, this fucking bitch. She made a fucking joke. She made. She made fake orgasm sound uh, pretend to eat a <laughs> May care to barge in there and see and saw that did not happen. saw that nothing happened. Now I could continue about what happened next, but uh if you want to know what else happened, I'm just I'm just gonna skip it. So the so the next scene is basically Ita's dad and Hammy's character who are about to make out and have about to do it again, but uh, Inuto's dad, Taro's Inuto's dad, Inuto, Inuto's dad, who basically, who after that played for well, Taro's dad and Dawn Brothers, came to the attention saying, nah, uh, I'm not feeling it right now, girl. My son's missing, I gotta go find him. So let's go uh, follow, let's, let's go follow his friend. <laughs> and well, they did, they found, well, they did, and uh, <laughs> oh god. The next couple of scenes is fucked up. His dad and Hammy went into the sex bar, and well, his dad made old his dad made his old friend, and well, he became he became the sex bar's owner, pet dog. What the fuck? No joke. No joke. No joke. He did. So Tal said it as well. I'm just gonna say that. What the fuck up with this show and calling people the fucking pet? <laughs> My god. First Inuta, first Amy's character called Inuta her dog, her pet. Now this guy called Inuta dad. What the fuck? Like father, like son, but Jesus Christ. What the fuck, dude? And he blackmailed him too with the sex tape. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> May's character went back in the sex bar, tried to, uh, tried to say that she, she's here for sex. Well, don't worry, she didn't got none. This, Ethan's character saved her just in time. And well, they left the bar, May's character kissed on the cheek, and, uh, they're about to go home until Usame appeared behind a front of saying, Move, say, no, -uh, I can't. Like, why? Because she's in love. I fucking hate this show. The most dumbest reason why she didn't let she didn't move out of the way. She said, and I quote, "She's in love with Inukatun. Inukakun." I'm like, wait, so you tell me through all the time she tortured my she tortured this guy, this kid, after he saw the sex tape of his fucking father and her coworker. And his father's co worker doing it. She's in love with him? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. Dude, I don't know what the hell. I don't know what the hell is this show. And that's when episode ends. Oh, God. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck is this show? <laughs> I hate I hate Akadrin Co. I don't recommend I don't I don't recommend, I don't recommend you guys looking this looking this up. But it's just it's so bad. Why are you watching? Cause me and my friends made a pack to watch this show. And well, this like episode eight, episode fucking eight. I think it is episode fucking eight is a pair. It's apparently going to be something else. Oh, God. Oh, God. My, my, my eyes going to burn for watching this shit. 
I hate it. I fucking hate it. <laughs> Let's move on. Talk about Toku. Oh, we talk about Toku, but uh, I I I have to get my thoughts about King Oldger. So yeah, Osama Sentai King Oldger episode one came out last week. Did I watch it? Yeah, I fucking enjoyed it. <laughs> I got a uh Dawn I got a Dawn Brother slash Rear Soldier vibe from it, and I loved it. Gia remind me of Momotaro from Dawn Bros because his, his actor's fucking energy gave me the exact same vibe as Taro's from Dawn Brothers. Also, Cole vibe from Cole's vibe from Rear Rear Soldier. Cole's vibe as well from Rear Soldier, and yeah, that that's the that, that's the vibe I got from both shows from the first episode of King Soldier. Good stuff. It's only the first episode. Episode two just came out, but I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till the subs come out for that one. But yeah, overall good episode. Can't wait. Rita's gonna be my favorite. I support this king, the purple king himself. And uh, yeah, can't yeah uh, yeah. This show's this show this show is gonna be good. Still don't like red suit, but that's just my opinion. Pur purple is my favorite suit because well, it's unique. So moving on from that. So, Jeets. Oh, boy. I haven't talked about Jeets in a while. <laughs> Again, uh, Jeets is still really good. It's that I can't do. I haven't watched the, I haven't watched the episode yet by the, by the time of this recording. I can't not, I, but I can't wait till, uh, I'm going to watch it tomorrow. But I can't wait to see the, fo the freaking fox form. The freaking red fox form. Mark 2, I think it's called. Mark Boost 2. It looks really cool. I can't wait to see that. Dude, I'm telling you. Jeets is, uh, Jeets feel like my revise because right now, my life, right now, my life is going pretty well. I'm getting ready to leave my current job. I'm getting, I'm getting ready, I'm getting, I'm getting ready to leave my current job, go look for a brand new one. My channel, my channel's doing, my channel's doing pretty good at the moment. And well, that's a. And well, sorry. And well, that's a really. And uh. And uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, uh, I'm getting fucking famous. <laughs> now I wouldn't say famous. No. Uh, I'm doing. I'm doing good, pretty much. I'm doing pretty good right now. <gasps> well, right now, as we speak. And yeah, though, Jeets feel like my revise of this year, and I love it. And no, the show the show isn't even over, but yeah, if it, if it come one of my favorites, dude. In the beginning, I had my speculation about Jeets because I'm talking about, eh, I'm not feeling it because revise literally drained the crap out of me of right, Comrade because how disappointed the second half was. But uh, until like about like, let's say the episode of. Uh, Episode when uh okay uh the the episode around when uh, Nago was confirmed to be the disaster that's when the episode that that's when the show well clicked with me and god damn it I fucking loved that shit it clicked with, it clicked with me and I loved it every time the episode G's come out I'm I'm eating it like. Like something like some type of chicken pot pie, <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, Jeets and Black Sun are becoming my Jeets and Black Sun are probably my favorite Ray Wall Rider shows. Wait, you saying Black Sun? But Black Sun ain't even Ray Wall. Technically, it is. Well, not like a. Well, it's a Amazon Prime, if Amazon Prime show. I'm mean, I'm counting that Ray Wall since well, it came out in Ray Wall. So yeah. You can use the same logic for Heisei Amazon. So moving on. So if I so if I had to rank like all the Ray Wall shows, all five. <laughs> it has to go like this. Black Sun, Jeets, even though even though I feel even though I feel like Jeets is uh cheating. Black Sun, Jeets, Zip. I can't say zero one. No, uh Alright, let's see. Alright, I'm probably opinion then. 
Saber. Black Sun G Saber 01 Revice. <laughs> Boy, that's an unpopular opinion. I put Saber above Revice. <laughs> that's an unpopular opinion right there. I don't really like Saber, but I'm just going to say it like that. <laughs> yeah, that's just. Yeah, that's just something. Speaking of G, his figure review, will, his figure review will come out next week. Well, this week. Not no when, but I will. I will start filming that eventually. So yeah. So moving on from that. So yeah, moving on from that. Uh, what time is it? Damn, look, it's almost, it's almost, it's almost, it's almost uh, fucking 11 o'clock. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And follow all my social medias in the description. And put the notification button on for my next video. Because I'm trying to hit a thousand subs this year. And with you guys' help, we can do that. Like, no joke, we can literally do that. Thank you all for listening. My name is Broku. All my social media, all my social will be in the description. Post the notification button off for that video. And uh, yeah, have a nice night, guys. Or day, wherever you live at. Peace.